Hello everyone, this is the Blue Giant Gamer, and we are playing level 19, Red's Lair, but first we need to get there. Let's start by activating the green switch on the left to unlock the door, leading to the Dark Gem Force Field. Hey, Spyro, over here! Now we just gotta get past all the enemies. As you can see, there is no map for this level since it's just a boss fight. Here we have a task to defeat Mecha Red. All we need to do is defeat Mecha Red once and for all. This gives us a little insight about the upcoming boss fight. <laughs> Professor, I finally found you! What were you thinking going after I don't that? know! I, I thought I could stop him after you had weakened him. But as soon as I got here, I was captured! Locked in this lab. Red's forcing me to work on his new improved army. You know, better armor, extra brain capacity, that sort of thing. Oh, Spyro. I seem to have made things a lot worse. Hey, don't worry. I'll have you out of here as soon as I can. How cozy. So, Spyro, have you returned to fight me again? And do you think I will allow you to win this time? Yeah, whatever. You're not so much of a challenge. I'm sure I can do it again. Oh, poor naive Spyro. You obviously don't know that I always get my way. Leave it to me, Spyro. I've got him. Let the battle begin. Red starts by throwing out small explosives that chase after you. Simply stay away from them until they explode. Red then creates a shockwave that we need to jump over and also causes debris to fall which we need to avoid. Red then shoots lasers out of his eyes that we need to watch out for. When it starts to get close, jump over it. Red then shrinks back down, making him vulnerable. Run over and ignite all the rockets, which will then hit Red. Red then reverts back to Mecha Red and throws out more small explosives. Along with avoiding them, you can also destroy them with your electric breath. Watch out for the shockwave along with the falling debris. Red then creates a wall of fire, just keep running to avoid it. Red then returns to normal, making him vulnerable. This time we have to activate the four electric nodes while avoiding the small explosives. This causes Red to get shocked. Red then reverts back to Mecha Red, throwing out more small explosives. Again, watch out for the shockwave and the falling debris. Red then shoots rockets out of his chest. Just keep running to avoid them. When he turns to the left, run to the right. When he turns to the right, run to the left. Red then turns back to normal, making him vulnerable. 
Now, don't defeat any of the robotic archer enemies, and instead, head over and activate the target. This causes the robotic archer enemies to shoot at red. Red then reverts back to Mecha Red and throws out some more small explosives. Again, avoid the shockwave and the fallen debris. Again, do the same thing and keep running to avoid the rockets he fires out of his chest. Again, when he turns to the left, run to the right. When he turns to the right, run to the left. Red then turns back to normal, making him vulnerable. Again, don't defeat any of the robotic archer enemies, and instead, activate the target. This causes the robotic archer enemies to fire at Red. One more time, oughta do it. I can't read that. What does it say? Oh, is it about pudding? Look at all the names. No, it's just the credits. I believe the game is over. Good. I didn't like it. There was too much talking, and the actors playing the other elders were just plain awful. Oh, sure, I would love a sandwich. Oh, cut the crusts off, would you? I didn't say anything about sandwiches, you deaf coot. Aren't you dead yet? Perhaps we should just turn off the TV for a while. Good idea. Make mine baloney! This is the end of Spyro, A Hero's Tale. I thought the game was good, it had a great story. I think the levels were a little long, but overall, a good game. I think there were more gems than necessary, since we ended up with so many. I also didn't really care for playing as the other characters. I like just being Spyro, but yeah, overall, a good game. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank everyone for watching. I appreciate the support and how it's continually growing. Thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel, it means a lot. I look forward to playing many more games and having more fun with everyone. Until next time.
before we say farewell to Spyro, A Hero's Tale, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. First, we completed defeating Red again, as well as defeating Mecha Red. Now to head over to Moneybags' shop. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro, and spend, spend, spend. Might as well fill up on lockpicks while we're here. Why not buy more? Here we have the double value gems, which is a temporary power-up that doubles the value of all gems. I never really found a use for this since we got plenty of gems throughout the game, which is why I never purchased it before. This completes the game 100%. We found all the dragon eggs, destroyed all the dark gems, and collected all the light gems. We also purchased all of the power-ups. Now to save our game. This is the end of Spyro A Hero's Tale.